Nobody? <laughs> My name is Nobody, and I'm a candidate for governor. Um, and, uh, but I also happen to be a uh, minister in Kansas Church. And one of the problems with the bill, and I do support the bill, but one of the issues is that the, uh, the religious freedom to use cannabis has never been addressed in New Hampshire. And I think it's very important that that should be addressed because there are Rastas, there are people from my church, the Church of the Invisible Hand, there are people from many spiritual faiths who believe that cannabis is a... Uh, is a uh, good God, I can't think of the word. Sacrament. Sacrament. Thank you, sacrament. Um, <laughs> we think of cannabis as a sacrament. And our religious liberty has been trampled on for a hundred <coughs> years in the name of the war on drugs. Okay? Nobody should go to prison for practicing his religion. Nobody should be fined for practicing his religion. No church should be limited in the amount of sacramental cannabis they can keep around, or whether they limit that cannabis to donors. And this is a, this is a very important um, issue that's been neglected. Now, of course, the Supreme Court has heard this argument and rejected it, but the basis on which they rejected it was it hasn't aged well. Because their argument was, if people were smoking marijuana, as if people weren't smoking marijuana, if people were smoking marijuana, that would be such a breach of the public order that there would be dogs and cats living together, hell and brimfire falling from the sky. It would be a disaster. Well, people smoked weed then, and people smoke weed now, and there is no disaster. The only disaster is the war of genocide that you people have been waging against us for a hundred years. That has been a disaster, you know? I think you should learn some of the things that kids learn, stoner kids learn, when they find out that the government is at war with them. That the government will so, so stop just this, to this, this bill it. is about personal um, use of marijuana, and it is, doesn't have anything really to do with religious use. And so, if you would just speak to this bill, we appreciate it. Okay. Very much. Well, the uh, I will I will speak then on the issue that somehow it's going to be better for a kid to have a criminal record, to go to jail, whatever, um, rather than having a little bit of weed. And I would suggest that you change the minor in possession section of the statute to calling their parents. Because having a little bit of weed, that's a calling the parents level offense. It's not a let's, let's take legal action against this kid offense. The idea that kids should be subject to more criminal, li uh, criminal liability than adults kind of flies in the face of uh, of reason when you think about it. I mean, we're going to attach a criminal penalty to your behavior because your mind is not well enough formed yet to make decisions that have a lasting impact. Well, don't you think it's possible that taking criminal sanction against somebody has a lasting impact on their life? And maybe they shouldn't be bound to that by a decision they made so young. Um, and with that, I'll, I'll yield the balance of my time. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. The political world is a maddening cesspool of corruption and lies. Nobody tells the truth. Nobody keeps campaign promises. Nobody obeys the Constitution. Nobody puts the people first. How can we ever escape this web of tyranny? Vote for nobody. Hi. My name is Nobody. I'm running for governor of New Hampshire because nobody knows how to live your life better than you do and nobody deserves that kind of power. I want to put you back in control of your money, your lifestyle, your work, your body, and your life. 
Nobody should rule you but you. New Hampshire convicts many people of so-called crimes that should never have been prosecuted. If elected, I will pardon every victimless crime in New Hampshire history. This includes drug, gambling, prostitution, gun, and driving offenses. Nobody should have a criminal record when they have not harmed anybody. Wouldn't it be nice to have nobody telling you what to do? Learn more at electnobody.com. electnobody.com.